And welcome to your gold market update charts of interest for today, Tuesday, the 7th of February. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets here with your daily meander around markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Uh, US markets finished lower after week earnings at the start of yesterday's session. And there was some follow through from Friday's caution after that big jobs report. We're seeing big earnings continue this week and we're also seeing the US futures fairly near neutral in early Asian trading Asian indices following that cautious US lead. ASX has managed to crawl its way back up to neutral before the RBA decision later on today. And European equity futures are pointing to a cautious open as well. The VIX is still managing to hold below the key 20 level. US dollar index continued to move higher yesterday and is now testing early January levels. It's rebound. It's rebounded off eight month lows on that jobs data we saw on Friday. Gold held 1860 after the recent sell off. And copper also paused at monthly lows. Oil edged higher after last week's sell off to remain within a medium term range. Bitcoin paused at the bottom of its race recent range after gapping down after the weekend. And as well as earnings season continuing, we've got Australian trade balance and of course the RBA decision. At around about 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We've got German industrial production and U.S. trade balance numbers later. And we've also got Jerome Powell, the Fed chairman, giving a speech, which the market will observe with interest. We are in the midst of earnings season, but we are seeing some strength in the uh, utility stocks. AGL is a prime example. However, these do report on Thursday. But the indications are that it may be a positive response. Uh, but you can see it's moved back up to $8 after trading around this 200 MA for a substantial number of days. So treat this with extreme caution with that number coming out on Thursday. We're looking at the Euro Yen as a potential currency of interest today. You can see we did have a pullback from 142.66 key level in yesterday's trading. Brought us back down to 142.14 which is where it's trading now. So we're looking to see if there's any significant price move likely to happen during the day. All of the FX pairs are just looking a little choppy, but there could be a short term opportunity for those who like to trade at shorter time frames. If we do breach 142.30, could see us back up to retest yesterday's high. But the higher probability trade will, if, will be if it breaches this 142.70. We think that is when we might see some significant price movement to the upside should it breach that level. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.